Well, hey there, hi there, ho there, YouTube subscribership. Captain Dave up in the Jetty Wolf one more time. What I'm going to show you today is, well, I'm going to show you something and I'm going to tell you a little story. So that's what this video is all about. It's a story and I'm going to show you something kind of new. All right. Well, I just got back from a day with three kids from six, I think they were six, nine, and 11. Then it was grandpa and dad so man did I just have me a boatload and it ended up being freezing cold here on April 1st I thought it was a joke I thought they were joking me when we got out there I thought it was a this was a bad joke yesterday had such a great day posted some of the pictures on my community page and we float rig fished we had a great day had a old old customer and his 11 year old son so old of a customer that he didn't have an 11 year old son the last time I took him fishing as a matter of fact I don't think he had a 16 year old daughter either that just goes to show you how old I'm getting so we go out to the inlet this morning, and I mean, there was some ominous looking rain clouds. And then the wind started blowing, and the wind started blowing some more, and we caught nothing. I mean, I couldn't beg up a bite with shrimp on the bottom. Couldn't beg up a bite. So then finally we were having crabs eating our bait because it's that time of year when the crabs are. You know, they're really moving, the blue claw, blue crab claws, uh, blue claw crabs, or whatever they call them. We just call them blue crabs. And uh, they're pulling on our baits and doing all this. And I mean, it was right at the last of the fallen tide, so everything was just, should have been perfect. Because at the inlet yesterday, they caught some really nice black drum. Well, that's what I was hoping for today. Instead, we leave out of there with like two whiting. Or something I mean it was pitiful so we ran up into the river but either way I brought my Shakespeare ugly stick tigers and my regular old Triton Shimano Triton 100 G's and that's what I usually fish when I'm kind of just pitching out on the bottom but I wanted to go buy a couple more tigers for my new reels I'll put a link in the video description at the end card and and uh, the little button thing at the top over here I'll do all that hoo ya. but I bought a couple of these Shimano AG Matic 3000 EX reels that are JDM, Japanese domestic market. You can't get them in the United States and I don't even think Shimano makes them anymore. But they're bulletproof, workhorse, killer reels. I figured I'm gonna use them for trolling this summer for like King Mackerel, because they're a perfect King Mackerel reel. And I wanted, I got one coming today, DHL Express all the way from Japan. I got one sitting here on a rod that I'm gonna show you same one I showed you in two past prior videos, and that's the ones that I'll link somewhere around here somewhere, okay, at the very end of this video. And in the video description, and probably the first comment, which is always mine, um, and show you these reels. But I'm going to show you them again, but I could not get any ugly stick tigers. The ones I want. Medium light, seven foot casting. Oh, I don't know what is going on with Ugly Stick and Shakespeare and all that. But here's my tigers. 
Here's my Triton 100 G's. Okay, undercover. This here is my standard operating, you know, rod. It's a Tiger, seven foot casting, rubber gimbal. Okay. Just a workhorse of a reel and a workhorse of a rod. And I've got, I don't know how many of these rods and reels. I don't know, 15, 20, I don't know. But I went and bought, of course, like I did the two videos of. Here is my Shimano Ajimatic. Wood handle. Automatic, engage, magnetic cast control, sweet, sweet reel, like brand new. Three ball bearings, yes, for the people who don't like Shimano Tritons because they, they click, this still has the big dog that makes it click. All right, so this reel still does, uh, it still clicks, all right. But as I showed in my other videos, the cool thing about this reel, which makes it, it's upside down right here, is the Ajimatic 3000EX, is watch the spool. Look right down right there, it's a level line, star drag, Probably has close to 20 pounds of drag pressure, but watch that spool. As you pull line, it's like the spring drag system, which is so cool. Okay, buttery, nice drag. Shimano's got great drags. You know, Shimano's always had good, smooth drags. So, I got another one of these coming. And I wanted to get two more Tigers. For this one and the one that's coming today. I could not find an ugly stick Tiger. Seven foot casting medium light action rod anywhere. Bass Pro Shop slash Cabela's. All different places I looked, and I didn't want, you know, they had eight footers, and they had heavy actions, and they had medium heavies, and they had this, and they had that. I wanted just more of what I already have. Well, I couldn't find it. And since Shakespeare, Shakespeare Ugly Sticks is having issues, there's still something out there going on or something, because... Okay, after the, the, here, the China plague, the Wu flu, the whatever you want to call it, shut them down or something, I don't know, and you couldn't get anything. They have still nothing on their website, on UglyStick.com. So, you know, they sold out of everything that they had, I guess, again. So now you still can't get what you want. So I'm like, screw it. Yeah, I bleed Ugly Stick. But, you know, sometimes you got to savor the flavor of the rest of the world. So what did I get? I got this, and I got two of them. Star handcrafted. A seven-foot star rod. And let me show you. It's got no foam. It's got the hard butt. It's, it's really a fantastic material. It's not the slick butt. I remember Penn came out with a thing called the slick butt. This isn't slick. It's very grippy, but it's hard. It's not foam. This is my new, if there ain't an ugly stick around, for $30 more, I can get one of these. $99.99, okay? It's just a prettier rod. Okay, both of these are sitting in the rod, my rod holder. Okay, look at where the reel is. 
This one, the Tiger, has a long butt. This has a shorter butt. I really like that. It's got a cap with a gimbal, plastic gimbal. I thought it was metal, but it's plastic. It has the gunmetal reel seat, not a proprietary, you know, ugly stick. Stop using Fuji. This has got, looks like a Fuji reel seat. I don't know. I didn't look to see if it said Fuji on it. I should. Uh, let's see. I can't really tell. I'd have to look. I'm not going to say it has a Fuji reel seat, but it's got beautiful wrapping. Okay. No, it doesn't have ugly, tough guides that still get all grimy and rusty, kind of nasty looking in salt water. Like this one here. I'm going to have to pull out a flashlight, I think, here. What happened to my flashlight? It can't be dead. There we go. But, here you go. If you look at that eye, it might be tough. But, man, they still get grimy as all hell. You know? Look at this one. Okay, they still get grimy. Well, here's the guides on the uh, star rod. I don't not. I do not know. I'm not going to say they're Fuji or any top brand or anything like that. But they're ceramic insert, gunmetal gray. And what do you get? Let me turn my flashlight off here. You get more, you get more eyes on this one. Okay, let's see. One potato, two potato, three potato, four potato. Well, let's just, let me just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you get more guides, you get a, you get a, a really nice, I'd like to see what this real seat is, but I can't tell. It looks like it probably is like a Fuji gunmetal gray real seat. And the funny thing is, here's the funny thing, folks. This is, I think they call this, let's see. I can never see anything without my glasses. I think they call this a 15 to 30 pound rod. This has always been, this kind of star rod has always been, let me wipe the lens off a second too. This uh, rod has always been a kind of a go-to king mackerel trolling rod, okay? It's got damn near the exact same action as my medium light ugly sticks damn near I'd say just a little less bendy okay so I mean we look at the ugly stick tip right on the tiger there's the bend Trying to hold the camera and do all this at the same time. Okay. There's the bend. See, because I need that for inshore for small fish. If I'm, you know, just whiting fishing or something. And then here's the bend of the star. Not a whole lot different. Not a whole lot of difference. Almost negligible. Okay. So what is this, is this all boiled down to? Well, y'all went and my subscribers all freaked out when I tried some Daiwa, the brand new Daiwa beef sticks. Oh, 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 did you give up on ugly stick? No, I didn't give up on ugly stick. Am I allowed to lick a different flavored lollipop every once in a while? So that's what I'm doing with this. I 
got two of these stars to match these Shimano JDM Ajimatic reels for kingfishing and stuff. And, you know, maybe like bull reds and, you know, whatever. I still got plenty of my tigers. But what it boils down to is for $30 more, free shipping. I got these at Bass Pro Shops. Bass Pro Shops Cabela's. And <clears throat> let's see, I ordered them one day. And they came from Florida. They came from South Florida. So I got these rods. I ordered them one day, skip a day, got them the next day. So that's two days. Two days. It might not even be two days. I ordered them in the afternoon or the morning on BassProShops.com. And it's a possibility. I can't really remember. They were here the next day. Free FedEx. Free FedEx. So you can get a star rod like this the same as this basically this ugly stick over here you could pay thirty dollars more you get nicer guides that i'm not a monster fan of the ugly tough guides i'm not a monster fan of them me personally for charter customers and kids and everything like i had today if they were banging the guides yeah go tough guide go tough guide for that okay but for more of my trolling i'm not gonna have a bunch of kids on the boat doing that this star rod i wish i can get a good shot of it here for you if i lean it up against my cooler let's see if i can get a kind of a nice shot for you okay there you go there's that, it's that kind of hard butt, nice real seat, really good foam. There's the guide. There's the first guide, right? And believe it or not, you can, it's almost like an old ugly stick. You can just about see where they run the tape around it, that kind of ripply there, okay? And there you go. There it is. Black. All right. Matches my reel. If we're looking in for matching stuff here. Let me see if I can stick it in the rod holder. Here's a tiger rod sitting off the boat here. But there you go. For 30 bucks more. The star rod. I'm pretty much sold, man. I'm much, I'm pretty much sold. Now, for kind of inshore fishing, do I need this heavier? Because I believe this thing down here is probably going to be heavier than foam. But they make a foam one. You know, I've never really looked into... I've never looked into the star rods before. But this is a star handcrafted. That's what they call it. That's just a series. And this is a, like a kingfishing rod. And it's so reminiscent of when Ugly Stick had an Ugly Stick custom line. They made um, boat rods with spiral guides. They made an Ugly Stick custom with the slick butt that had really, you know, decent components. I have a, I know, um, I have a friend, Dennis, who has two of them and I tried to get them off of them. I try. I say, hey man, you want to sell these? So these are very reminiscent of what the Ugly Stick Customs looked like. And the Ugly Stick Customs are no longer. Ugly Stick and Shakespeare are really, man, they're, they're, they're squeezing that fruit for its last little piece of juice because they seem to be, there's there's something going on. I mean, there's they're not they're not doing the super stuff they used to do before, and the super stuff is they made a rod like this and charged more for it, and it was extremely popular as far as I'm concerned because I had them, I had them, I used them. Um, mine were 
like tarpon rods, like eight foot meat sticks that you would you wouldn't even use those for tarpon these days. But um, so what? There's something going on, and I don't like it. But I can pay seventy for this tiger, or a hundred for this. Especially when these aren't around, when these tigers aren't around and you can't get them because they make them and then they don't have any. They all get sold out. The medium lights. I'll still buy these if I can get them. But now I know I got a serious alternative here. And that's the point of this video. All right. So that's the story. The story and then the show and tell. My Ajimatic on my new Star Eyes. I'll be trolling for some. A King Macaralis with these. And I'll be using these for Kingfish too because that's what I used all last year. But now I'll have these Ajimatic reels. Got another one coming. It'll be here probably by at least 5 o'clock. DHL Express. I believe literally only three days from Japan. I found me a Japanese eBay seller that is top notch. I asked him for better photographs. He sends me better photographs. He only ships to the United States, DHL Express. You get it three, four days. Okay. He's right on the money. I mean, as far as not, he's not overpricing stuff. I got these Ajimatic 3000 EXs for what these Shimano Triton 100s are retailing for and shipping from Japan to the United States, Jacksonville, Florida. So here's a look at the guides. And then there's our ugly stick guides, right? The ugly tough guides. And then these, I, I'm like I said, for beating, ugly tough guys. For looking nice, working nice, plain old standard guides with ceramic. All right, well that's it. I'm getting ready. I ran the engine out in his barrel. Sprayed all the popcorn off the deck, which we had popcorn everywhere with the kids today. Good kids, had a good time, enjoyed them. And uh, let's see what else did we have all over the deck today. I think it was pretty much popcorn. <laughs> popcorn everywhere. But there was enough wind to blow it out. And today it was so damn windy that even tomorrow is supposed to be 20 to 25 knots. So I'm really reconsidering tomorrow's charter because it was pretty brutal out there. But who knows? All right, thanks for watching this show and tell Tiger Rod, Star Rod, Triton 100G, Shimano JDM, Ajimatic 3000 EX. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.